Welcome back, Redeemers. Thank you for joining us again. My name is Curtis. I'm Nick. Annyeong lo And today we got a special request from longtime Redeemer Chelsea. Um, watching you, I don't care. So without further ado, let's get into it and see what we got. Like, you don't care, Kurt? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> got her. <laughs> little electric guitar. God damn, he just left. <laughs> um, oh, he left early. Damn. <laughs> I ain't gonna be a prisoner at the moment. Psych I am. This might be my favorite joint from bro. Nah, the last one is the. 
No, I, I that, like that's in a similar vein. The, uh, that's my always. shit. I, I, I love that. I, one. I was gonna go there just because my not the biggest knock on him and some of the other vocalists who the Redeemer has been um, like you know throwing our way was that we see that the talent is there. My thing is just like making you, it translate into make a, it translate into a track. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's shown us literally two joints in a row. I think three, but mostly two joints in a row that like his tracks. His tracks hit a little bit different too. Mm-hmm. I want to hear this on Wax. Um, something tells me this is going to slap in the car. Um, but though it was just something about the lyrics here, the songwriting yes. with the call and response. I was just going to say I love the call and response action and just kind of getting the crowd involved and everything. Crowd's vocals in everything. Yeah, they they was kind of on point in tune mm-hmm. and crowd crowd sound a little pitch perfect there. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I love how I, he was feeling himself too. Exactly, and Got this definitely is. is this definitely is kind of in the same vein as the last song. I forget what it's called, but I mean, I'll I'll just go on our uh, on Patreon and, and look and see. But um, it's definitely like in the same vein. I love what he was talking about lyrically. It's definitely like he, you know, I moved to the beat of my own drum. I don't care mm-hmm. what you call me. My tattoos and spiky hair don't define me. Mm-hmm. You know, calling me a fool or a joke. It, I don't care how you feel. He definitely moves just to big the, fuck fuck your yeah, opinion of me. You know, energy. I am who I am. You know, I'm watching mm-hmm. you. You know. what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I love that energy. Yeah, Ironically, it, they watching him, but you know, yeah, so. I, I just love that energy. Carolina. Just that exactly that. <laughs> that I don't care how you feel about me. Like I am who I am. It is what it is. Fuck your opinion of me. I define by myself. Just those lyrics and stuff just really like kind of like hit, and I'm I'm on that vibe personally right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's this really hit, man. This hit on. A, I love the musicality. I love that riff. Um, that's kind of uh, not so much a cowboyish like, like that. Mm-hmm. It's definitely like, a western, like the western. Definitely a western movie. Uh, type of I call it movie trailer, mm-hmm. uh, like vibe. You you'll hear like, you'll see some of those movie trailers back in the day where it has like that riff. Um, I I just love that. Um, I felt like cinematically this this could have been a crazy MV. <laughs> I definitely, I always crazy, definitely crazy you know MV. either put something in a movie or a. a uh, MV perspective, and I, mm-hmm. I think this is, um, like I said, it's just matching with the lyrics and everything. It just sounds like a badass mm-hmm. cowboy or something, just returning back to the city, or you know, just something like that. Just the, the energy that he brings. It's literally, what I had in my head. Like, yeah, like literally. the cowboy coming back. He came to back town. to avenge. You I know. thought I told you not to come back, Jesse. Mm-hmm. Jesse, like, Jesse rules to the beat of heard, his own heard, drum. Heard the Rufus gang escaped, and I'm here to collect. <laughs> <laughs> But no, definitely, and his um, his vocal control and flexibility is <sighs> chef's kiss. It's, it's amazing, man. He's, I, he's got a certain aura, bro. Um, it's it's almost um, like I said. I hate to keep comparing because obviously he's his own person. And Dimash, um, not so much Dimash. I was really going to go more towards like Prince. Oh, um, more towards like they kind of just. Look at him sitting on the thing. Yeah, the on stage. And, and everything, like, kind of sassy, that on stage, badass, sassy, yeah. badass, almost, and stuff was kind of aligned with that. Um, also, just with, like, kind of, like, the musicality, because they said he does other things. And then vocally, um, I, I get kind of, like, the Prince aura from him a little bit. Okay. Um, different, like I said, not the same artist or whatever, but just, like, that mm-hmm. vibe and energy is just what I gauge from from him. And I'm here for it, man. Yeah, this, this was great. Um, definitely... Early on in the beginning, it felt like it was like more of a like I know it's called I don't care, but it was more of the um, taking you from the moments of when you did care, perhaps like in the sense of um, it was like um, I'm not even going to argue. It isn't even worth it. Seemingly like like you're almost I don't know if that's to say you're kind of choosing to be like um, choosing to allow someone to be belligerent with you. You're just not engaging that energy and reciprocating it, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Um, or if that's to say you know on the other side of it, instead of you know. Um, like I don't have to fight because I know I'm right or because I'm not letting it engage with me. So I mean that could be taken two ways. I'd have to you know see it again to to really kind of see the full context of it. But nonetheless, I I love that that was uh, sort of something that he started it off with. Um, and then it seemed like when he got towards uh, just shortly before the middle, um, when the tone began began to change uh, before the hook and everything, which was uh, as you had said, um, because you see my tattoos and my spiky hair, don't think that you know me. Don't think that this exterior shell of myself is something that defines me. Um, and certainly a vibe that he seemed to embody mm-hmm. through much of the, uh, the work that we have checked out from him. Um, and then, you know, right when he got into that first hook, that incredible high note that he hit, mm-hmm. um, that was ridiculous. In the sense of those are the types of high notes that you get more towards the end of tracks. 
Um, and I always find it incredible when um, artists of any kind can incorporate um, the power of those notes when it's not necessarily structurally um, as uh, familiar, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, like when you can kind of pick and choose where you want to put it as opposed to where, you know, song structure would say it should be. Um, I just find that interesting nonetheless. Um, and then, you know, obviously the call and response with the crowd. I thought the crowd, you know, as far as you had said, like pitch perfect, it did sound like really amazing and in line as well. Um, and him just being able to have that call and response, because this feels like it's some sort of award show mm -hmm. or some sort of um, perhaps uh, contest. Yeah, if you will. I think it's a contest. Yeah, uh, some sort of contest. And I know some of the other work um, has been on uh, shows like that. So just nonetheless, the fact that you're able to kind of bring that vibe to essentially a competition. Um, I just find that really amazing as well. And then when you get into that incredible like ladder high note um, that went what felt like for over 10 seconds almost. Um, so that, that was just, that was just ridiculous. But even before that, um, before that moment, um, when he got up on the table and mm -hmm. he basically had that moment where he was talking to the crowd, he was like, all right, everyone like kind of get ready for it. He was literally hyping up the crowd before his last, um, hook, yeah. uh, to kind of, and just that, that crowd engagement and control. Um, he, he's just through and through such a performer. Um, and I do love the, the sort of rock aspects of it that we have heard in other tracks. Um, but all that to say that um, I know he's very involved in his music process as far as the composing mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So just those little intricate behind the scenes choices as far as like, OK, I'm going to use the electric guitar here. Maybe this is better suited for piano or violin. Um, I'm always intro, intro, interested excuse me, to see uh, kind of how those choices come about. Um, but you notice he was also doing little uh, kind of intricacies with his hands where he would like time the beat or time mm -hmm. like he would time the drop of the drum or um, he does that a lot counting he measures does, he, 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 he counts and, but and I, does I, I everything notice he kind of cues himself into his notes which I just find like really amazing in and of itself um, again you know just a performer through and through definitely this uh, particular shot that we're looking at right now um, when he basically got to that point of um, ready to fight where it's like why should I not clench my fist that's all I have like mm -hmm. all you have is kind of who you are mm -hmm. um, essentially deciding yes you don't care but some things might be worth kind of fighting for and even if you're not fighting a physical person outside of you you're still fighting for who you are and, and perhaps if your character is kind of um, judged in that way then maybe it is engaging but in that sense mm -hmm. nonetheless um, the fact that the camera work looked like it was a drone sort of shot and the, it did a 180 where it kind of like flipped it literally flipped the story in that sense because that was uh, towards the bridge. So that's where like all the elements of the story actually come together. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was done really well um, to incorporate some essence of storytelling within um, a, a, contest, per, a contested performance or uh, contest, contest show. Um, but just all those intricacies are done really well. And the last thing I really just wanted to add was um, I always find it amazing that um, like, I'm not going to act like this isn't lyrically complex or anything like that, but I love the essence of how he writes songs because these will all be sort of, like, almost what most of us may sum up to a paragraph of a feeling or thought. Mm -hmm. And then he can just stretch that and, like, make that its own contained, unique, focused, mm -hmm. you know, thing. Um, and I just love that. Like, even uh, the other song, I, I'm i blanking on the, the, the name of it right now, but basically the joke or the, the ha-ha. Um, so I don't want to, you know, miss. I forgot. We're all blanking on it just because that, that, yeah. that was that was yeah, the last that, one that we was what did stood from out him. to me. So perhaps that's why I thought it was the title. But nonetheless, uh, just essentially, like someone's judging me, I'm not going to allow it to get to me. And he could stretch that that core little just thought into like a whole kind of song. And then you know what incredible vocal ability he's able to bring to it. Um, he been letting I mean, his he haters just, know what's up the last couple jumps. <laughs> he, he just like, nah, it's just incredible. Um, yeah, this this was amazing. Yeah, this says uh like I don't care is a track on watching you second album Aliens. The lyrics express an unwillingness to be considered about what others think and a pride in owning oneself. Um he composed this um he performed this song on the sixth episode of the sixth season of China's prestige singing competition singer twenty eighteen. Oh that's what this song is now. Um oh, wow. he came in second place. Shit, Damn. I want to know who beat him. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. the winner. Uh, yeah. How did he even make that call as a judge? He said, yet one great. most popular song of Singer 2018 award. Uh, so, he, Oh, yeah. excuse me. It was, yeah, um, it was a black and white artist. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to double check on that. 
He said, as a composer, uh, watching you finds the human voice to be the best instrument there is, mm -hmm. and that it demonstrates through the fact that many of his performances and recorded music contain a form of vocalist. Um, Lauded for his talents in both composition and dramatic performance, watching you is still garnering a following since his appearance on Singer 2018, and I think he's been in his bag since 2013 with all these other um, award shows and everything too. Even, so he's very well tracks, decorated. Even the tracks that we had checked out, um, Aliens, uh, Aliens, Black and White and Artists, and mm -hmm. then now this, they all seem to have that rebelliousness sort of. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to say. Um, I get what you mean. Like, I don't, don't want to say fuck the social norm. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't I'm doing my own um, thing. I don't want to say it's necessarily angst. That's the word I'm not necessarily trying to use. But I love that his vein um, of music, ironically, is going against the green. And I just find mm -hmm. that like he just um, within that unique kind of um, setting or pattern, perhaps in his uh, songwriting and his composing, and ultimately, of course, his performing. Um, he, he just has such a unique niche um, that he just succeeds in like all fronts with. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, I mean, just you know, that was outstanding. Yeah, I'm real big on. Uh, I'm not gonna turn this into a long spill. Is that um, if we listen to kind of one or two tracks from somebody, if we quote unquote like have a gripe or want to see more, we should applaud the people who, when we start hearing more, they're kind of answering questions Basically, or yeah. filling out the checklist. And bro's kind of feeling yeah, like he's, the I was gonna say, he's hitting all the, all he, the uh, spots on my checklist, he, so he, he, he's he, good in my book. He's hit everything because sometimes, you know, like I said, we're here to have real conversations. Um, you can run into those artists who vocally are just there, but they can't write a song. They for don't shit. inspire nothing. Or, they, or nothing comes from it. It's yeah. just kind of a, a performance. And bro is showing us he's more than just a performer. He'll perform the fuck out of something, but he got some tracks. Um, he got some shit on wax, too. Um, the last one wasn't the MV. Does he have MVs, y'all? Like, um, right, like, was it Alien and MV? Um, I forget. Uh, it was, was, I was a live performance. I felt like I felt like both of them. I felt like we did more than three tracks from him, though. We did more than Alien. Yeah, I wasn't MV. here for one. On the Patreon. Or um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah, Chels and everybody else, y'all gotta throw us some MVs from Bro. Now I'm trying to see a little bit. We I see what he can do on stage now. That's just not saying that's just a given because he's amazing at it. I, that's his next challenge. This is a fucking video game. He said, I thought I beat the big boss. Um, yeah, send, send, send a video from bro. I feel like we might have done one. They probably like, Nick, we, you did one. Honestly, and this is just pure speculation, but someone as involved in his process as he is, I don't know if anyone would be able to direct his vision. Or if that's something that he would more so be involved in himself, perhaps. He well, yeah. you gotta you gotta trust your team at some point because yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I'm just, I'm just curious yeah, no, I, I agree with yeah. you, but as big as these performances is, you need your composers. You need um like everyone obviously your you know band. playing all the instruments, the bands, background um some some background something. vocalists. Sometimes I think other people help with some of the tracks. So um yeah. so you know it's. You can be as the biggest a perfectionist as you want. You kind of sometimes need a team when you're trying to do something so grand. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Lowe, you anything else? Oh, no, I'm good. Nah, this is just really, again, outstanding. Thanks, Chels. And uh, Thank thanks you. everybody else who uh, who We're really keeps these bros alive yeah. on, the, on the channel. Because y'all really putting us on stuff that we probably, like, I would have never heard of this in my life. Uh, <laughs> so I appreciate you guys. Sure. Love you to death. Go holla at y'all. Peace. Hey.